Hello, good evening. Council leaders in Kent say public services are at breaking point after the Home Office moved to block book hundreds more hotel rooms to house asylum seekers in response to the crisis at Manston. In Ashford, it means a second large hotel has been closed to the public with weddings and parties cancelled. One of the migrants moved there this week has told us she feels stuck in a slow system. Kit Bradshaw has this report. Hello, good evening. A doctor has told a judge that she believes it is not dignified to carry on the life support treatment of Archie Battersby. A food bank user in Basingstoke says the cost of living is already a struggle and the energy price cap increase announced today will plunge other households into the same situation. The RNLI is warning of the dangers of tombstoning after two men reportedly jumped from Brighton Palace Pier. People are only being urged to visit University Hospital Southampton if absolutely necessary, with 170 staff off sick with COVID. Residents in Chatham can reopen their doors and windows again following a large fire. It broke out in a warehouse at the docks just before three. People reported hearing loud bangs. At its height, 10 fire engines were at the scene, but that's now been reduced to three as crews dampened down the site. Finally, tonight, the effigy created by the Eden Bridge Bonfire Society in Kent always attracts lots of attention, with structures of Boris Johnson and Donald Trump set alight in previous years. Well, the figure who is the focus of this weekend's fireworks night has been revealed. To give you some clues, it's another politician. Her constituency is South West Norfolk, and she is the UK's shortest serving Prime Minister. If you haven't worked it out yet, even from the image behind me, here is Tom Savides to tell all. Welsh rock band Stereophonics were headliners tonight at Victorious Festival along South Sea Common. Thousands of people, some with tents, will be enjoying a weekend of entertainment. Chloe Oliver was there for us earlier. Because to sum up the weather today, it's been pretty grossy, hasn't it? This was Hayward's Heath in Mid-Sussex about an hour or so ago, captured by one of our viewers. The Met Office had issued a warning for bad weather, so let's check in with Amanda Houston now to see how the forecast is shaping up as we start the new working week. So not too bad for the Great South Run tomorrow. Whether you are running or just relaxing for the rest of the weekend, enjoy it if you can and join us tomorrow at a quarter to six for now. Bye-bye.